They killed entire families, adults and children, and they tried to burn the bodies. I am addressing you on behalf of the people who honor the memory of the deceased every single day in the memory of the civilians who died, who were shot and killed in the back of their head after being tortured. Some of them were shot on the streets, others were thrown into the wells, so they died there in suffering. They were killed in their apartments, houses, blowing up grenades. The civilians were crushed by tanks while sitting in the, their cars in the middle of the road just for their pleasure. They cut off uh, uh, limbs, cut their throats, slashed their throats. Women were raped and killed in front of their children. They were, uh, their tongues were pulled out only because the aggressor did not hear what they wanted to hear from them. I would like to remind you of Article 1, Chapter 1 of the UN Charter. What is the purpose of our organization? Its purpose is to maintain peace and uh, make sure that uh, peace is adhered to. And now the UN Charter is violated literally starting with the Article 1. And if so, what is the point of all other articles? Today, as a result of Russia's actions in our country, ladies and gentlemen, are you ready to close uh, the UN? Do you think that the time of international law is gone? If your answer is no, then you need to act immediately. The UN uh, charter must be restored immediately. The UN system must be reformed immediately so that the veto is not the right to die, that there is a fair representation in the Security Council of all region of the world. The aggressor must be brought to peace immediately. Determination is needed. The massacre from Syria to Somali, Somalia, from Afghanistan to Yemen and Libya, that should have been stopped long time ago.